Well, I got some transfer news to kick off wheel and deal for the January 2023 window. West Ham United has confirmed the signing of 20-year-old centre-back Luziao from Sao Paulo, with a player joining West Ham and going straight into the academy. Well, I've said that he was going straight into the academy. I mean, he's going to be training with basically the level below our first team, which was a surprise to me because I thought he'd get right into the first team given that he's from the Brazilian league and that he's a Rob Newman target. Having said that, Rob Newman has scouted this player, so therefore I don't know if he's really going to be bad or not. What I don't want to happen is him to sit in the academy and Moyes waste him away. Because Moyes has done that with a lot of our youth players. He's given them debuts in the Premier League, like for one game, given them debuts in Europe, and they've just not acted and been loaned out to League 1 and League 2. Hopefully this, this doesn't happen with Lu Xiao because he's used to playing on the big stage in Brazil in front of mass crowds. So don't let him rot. He's a physical tall defender who's been described by South American media as a quintessentially South American style defender. Known for his tenacity, aggressive tackling and strong presence. I hope that he gets into the first team sooner rather than later because Bonner's on his last legs, no disrespect. Zuma's injury prone. Dawson, I think, could end up leaving in January. So if Lujar gets a start in the first team, I'd actually be okay with that because he's got a lot of experience playing already. There's nothing wrong with that. I think he's ready for the first team regardless if he's already played at such a young age. He turns 21 next month as well, so don't keep wasting him away the older he gets. Second bit of news I want to address is that Vladimir Sofal apparently wants to leave. West Ham. Um, to be honest with you, I'm okay with this as long as we're getting another right back. And that leads me on to my next topic after this. So far's had a really good debut season for us. And was trying to follow it on into his second season. This season, he's not been that good. He's been inconsistent at right back. We've had to change that right back position so many times. We haven't found a consistent force there. That's why we need changes. And with so far wanting to leave, he's got to open his options. He's open to staying in England, but he is rumoured to move, want to move to Bayern Leverkusen. We'll see what comes of that, though. But I wouldn't be against him leaving right now. I'm just gutted that he had a few chances to score goals and never took them when he had the chance to. The third player I want to talk about is Celtic Croatian right back Josip Juranovic. Canadian international Alistair Johnson is signing for Celtic from FC Montreal. I nearly said CF Montreal, just because of the Frenchness. I've been to the city and that's how they pronounce it. He is signing for Celtic and joining on January the 1st, 2023. So that's a potential replacement, meaning that Juranovic is free to go. Juranovic has been at Celtic since 2021, having signed from Legia Warsaw. Prior to that, he spent five years at Hadjuk Split, the alma mater football club of Slavon Bilic. He's played 27 games for Croatia and featured in the World Cup in Qatar. Janovic was a part of the Scotland team of the year in the Premiership last season and became Celtic's primary penalty taker. He scored three goals last season and formed a really tight-knit defence at Celtic. Juranovic is impressive to me, absolutely class when he was playing in the World Cup and he's won a third place bronze medal there. Hopefully Nikola Vasic can say something good about this club, or maybe even Slavon Bilic if he's got even further contacts, but Juranovic is available for around 6 million euros. Roma's wanting him, apparently Spurs are wanting him. We are linked with him somewhere in the distance. West Ham's appointed a scout from Celtic. That makes things add up. We need a new right back and we're prepared to sell so far. Juranovic is there for the taking. So let's get that done. Luziao signing. Okay, put him in the academy. Just don't slow him out to League One sides and let him waste away. He's flown halfway across the world, goddammit. Just so don't make him just rot in some council flat in Sunderland or wherever, okay? Make him live in the apartments next to the London Stadium and enjoy living in one of the world's most populated cities. So far leaving, mm, gutted, but would I be gutted? Yes and no. 
I'm open for him moving as long as we get in a replacement i.e. Josip Juranovic. That'd be all cool by me. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, you know what to do. Thumbs up, sub for more content. Take care, everybody. I will see you soon.